so right now we're gonna go over a really basic uh, back take from the mount. Let's say we're in the mount position and when we're in the mount position, uh, we can be handling this a couple different ways. I can keep my knees in tight and be hugging them, smothering them, keeping pressure, uh, making them uncomfortable. I can put my grapevines in, okay, hooking my legs in the shins and like supermaning out, putting heavy pressure on their chest, okay, and making them uncomfortable, uh, being belly to belly with me and putting a lot of pressure. Let's say as we're doing this, they start to favor one side like they're wanting to turn away. I, I want to give pressure to make them to make them think that I don't want them to turn and continue them resisting. As they're resisting, they're resisting, they're resisting. I'm gonna let them pass, and once my chest can catch the back of their, their shoulder, um, then I have a good grip on, on their back, and I'm gonna be able to keep them from rolling back to their back. So let's say I, once we're here, boom, I'm putting pressure, she's resisting, she's resisting, she wants to turn, I resist, I let it pass, and I get my chest to catch her back. Now she tries to turn back to her back, I'm just gonna keep pressure and not allow her to go to her back. From here, I'm gonna catch a seatbelt. So this arm is gonna go behind her head. We're gonna shift a little bit. This arm's gonna go behind her head. I'm gonna keep my pressure. This hand's gonna go underneath and I grab my seatbelt. From here, I'm gonna kind of pick this leg up and I slide this knee to my elbow. So knee to the elbow. And then from here, I'm gonna pick her up, sit to my hips and pull her to the other side so I can take the back. Again, let's say we're in the mount position. I'm putting pressure. I'm not letting her escape out of here. She decides she wants to start turning. I give some resistance, but then eventually let her pass over. I use my chest to now keep her on her side or try to force her belly down. I catch the seatbelt. I bring this arm underneath her arm and lock my hands together. From here, I'm gonna slide my knee up Okay, a common mistake that I see people make, two, two common mistakes that I see people make is they either don't keep their chin tucked and they're, they're, they're stretched out this way so when I start trying to pull her down, she can escape her shoulder to the ground and I lose this position. Okay, that's one common mistake, so I need to keep my chin tucked. Okay, and then the other common mistake that I see people make is that when they bring this knee to the elbow, they'll roll to their back. And when they roll to their back, they give this person a chance to get up on top. Okay, so let's go through this again. From here, putting pressure. Maybe I have my grapevines, maybe I don't, but she favors one side. I resist a little bit and then let her pass. I use my chest to keep her on her side. I catch my seatbelt. This arm goes underneath the arm. I slide one knee up to my elbow. I keep my chin tucked. And now I'm gonna pick her up and then roll to my other side. I never fall to my back straight on. I roll to the other side, I have my seatbelt, I get my hooks, and then I get positioned. 